and welcome to Line of Sight. Anger, anguish over Citizenship Act spreads across the country. Protests against the Citizenship Act, which began in Northeast last week, has now spread like a wildfire. Starting from Assam to Delhi to Tamil Nadu, voices of dissent are swelling. Protests over Delhi police cracked down in Jamia Millia Islamia University echoed through the country today, with leading universities expressing their solidarity with Jamia students. IIT Bombay, Tata Institute of Social Sciences in Mumbai, IIT Madras, Hyderabad Central University and Maulana Azad National Urdu University in Hyderabad and Nadwatul Ulama in Lucknow, Aligarh Muslim University, Jadavpur University in Kolkata, Patna University have come together against the alleged police atrocities against the students. <laughs> But what exactly happened in the Jamia campus yesterday night? Students allege that police resorted to firing, stone throwing and use of tear gas shells while they were carrying out a peaceful protest. However, they believe that the protests turned violent after outsiders who participated in the demonstration turned violent. What happened in return was policemen entering the campus and using Mwantan force to quell the protests. Following this, in the evening, students of the Aligarh Muslim University took to the streets, forcing police to bat in charge at protesters. In both the cases, police has been accused of using excessive force. A petition has also been filed in court against their action. However, police say that they entered the campus while chasing miscreants and stones were pelted at them. Now, it is up to the judiciary to call out the culprit. After unrest over a week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi came out on Twitter today and said he was distressed by the protests. He alleged that opposition was fueling the unrest over the issue. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, known for some caustic statements against millennials, warned people to be wary of jihadists, Maoists and separatists getting into student activism. However, the Union Home Minister and BJP President Amit Shah, who is campaigning in Jharkhand, decided not to talk about the protests and promised voters that a sky-touching Ram temple will come up in Ayodhya within four months. Mitro, I want to say to you that the Supreme Court has come up with the Supreme Court. Four months ago, the temple of the Supreme Court has come up with the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court. With opposition parties, BJP's allies and international community voicing their criticism, the union government is certainly under pressure. For more such videos, subscribe to the Federal's YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn.